Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the fake Zoeva Rose Gold um, brush set. I got this off eBay for 22 Australian dollars. Um, so this is literally like the same thing as the original Zoeva brush kit. I mean, at least it looks the same but I'm not sure about the performance. So we're going to test this out um, and see how well it performs. It comes with 15 brushes and yeah, they literally look like the Zoeva original ones, except they, I can feel that it's synthetic. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's test these out. I've already used a couple of these um, once but I don't remember what I think of it so we're just going to test them out together. My skin is so bad like my skin I feel so bad for it it's been like this is the worst that it's ever been like I'm breaking out everywhere it's red it's painful and I'm just over it I'm over my pimples my, I'm, I'm done yeah see it's just really really bad but oh well Sorry about the background noise i'm filming in the studio because it's the only time i have um right now to film so anyway i'm starting off with the primer i'm using the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and this is the uh, smoothing primer i'm going to use this brush to apply the primer this is a 112 face curve brush um, this looks like it's going to perform well but let's see. I like this brush. This is nice. I would definitely uh, give this a thumbs up. This is, uh, yeah, this applies really well and it's soft on the face. And uh, yeah, I mean, it performs well. So thumbs up from me. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, foundation. I'm in the shade 5W1 Bronze. And to apply that, I'm using the 103 Definer Buffer Brush. I'm just going to take my Double Wear and buff it into the skin. I like this brush as well, 103 Definer Buffer. Um, it blended out really well and it was really soft, it was dense. I don't know, it didn't leave any streaks, like it's a good brush, I like it. It's actually a really, really good brush. Then I'm going in with the concealer, this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I use the shade Caramel. I'm using the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I give this brush a thumbs up, 142 concealer buffer, I really like this one as well. So far, so good. I'm just going to set my face and my under eye using the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect Powder. And uh, with that, I'm using the uh, 106 powder brush. So I'm using this brush to apply the powder. Okay, I really like this brush as well, 106 powder brush, really, really nice, uh, very soft and it applied powder very smoothly on the skin. Alright, so I'm going to quickly go to my brows and prime my eyes and I'll be right back. Alright, now moving on to eyes, I'm using the 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush, I'm using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and I'm going to use this shade Burnt Orange first. I'm just going to pop this on the crease. Next I'm taking the shade Sienna and I'm going to pop that on the crease as well.
Then I'm going in with the 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush and I'm taking the shade uh, Sultry, which is this shade here. And I'm just gonna pop that on the lid. Going back in with the 227 Lux Soft Definer Brush and I'm taking the shade Mulberry which is that shade there and I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm going in with the 230 Lux Pencil Brush and I'm taking the shade Mulberry again and I'm just going to pop this on the lower lash line. Alright, so 234 Lux Smoky Shader. I mean, it's okay, it's not amazing, not really my favorite. It feels very like plasticky, like it's very synthetic, like it's not picking up the product as well. I mean, my eye look is alright, but it could have been better. Um, same with the 227 Lux Soft Definer. Um, like, the bristles are very like synthetic they're like plastic and uh, also the Lux pencil because I have the pencil brush the original one and it doesn't feel like this it picks up the product and it blends better so all these are like meh like they're not the worst but they're not amazing all right for eyeliner I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio black black is black gel liner and for brush, um, I'm using the 317 Wing Liner Brush. Alright, this brush is a little thick, uh, thicker than the original one. So this will be nice to fill in the brows. But in terms of applying liner, it's applied quite thick because this is thick. So. Um, yeah, not my favorite for eyeliner, so maybe for brows it might work. Alright, I'm going to apply bottom liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. To contour the face, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And the brush I'm using is a 109 Base Paint Brush, which is for contour. I'm taking the mid and the darker shade, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to contour the brush is not bad it's blending out things really well um, yeah, I kind of like this brush actually. Not bad, I like it. I think I'm going to use the same brush to bronze. For bronze, I'm using the Becca Sunlight Bronzer in a Panama Sun. Just going to use it on the jawline. Yeah, I like it. For blush, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Blush Trio in Peachy Love and I'm using the 127 Luxia Cheek Brush. I'm taking this middle shade and I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. Not bad, this did apply the blush quite well but it's not amazing. Like it's, it feels a bit like plastic and it's, uh, I mean it's alright. I can get away with it. Alright, for highlighter, I'm using the 129 fan brush. I'm using the NARS Mandray highlighter in double take. Just by the looks of it, like, I don't like the brush. But let's see. It's not even picking up any product. I don't like it. No, this brush is the worst so far. I don't like that brush at all. Okay, I've got three brushes left here. Um, one is 310 Spot Liner, then 
we have 226 smudger and 322 brow liner brush the brow liner looks nice like it looks like it'll apply a brow powder really nicely um, so I'll give that a thumbs up then we have the smudger and spot liner. Now I'm going to use both of these to apply lipstick. So I'm going to use 310 spot liner to line my lips. Then I'm going to use 226 smudger to apply the lipstick, like to fill in my lips. For lipstick, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in my down. Alright, so 310 spot liner brush was actually very nice to line the lips, so I give this a thumbs up. I'm going to keep this for lining the lips. Then 226 smudger, it applied the lipstick really well, but I also think this will blend out the lower lash line really nicely. I liked it, so thumbs up from me. Alright, I'm quickly going to set my face and I'll tell you my uh, thoughts on the brushes. Alright, so here are the 15 brushes that I use. So my final thoughts are that for $22, the brushes are worth it. But not all of them are nice. So I'll tell you what is good and what performs really well. First of all, the pouch is really nice. Um, it's nice and big. It has a, um, a zipper on the inside. Oh, are you... I didn't realize there was a brush in here. A crease brush. I don't know, I'll have to apply a color and see if this is good or not. So this is 228 Lux crease brush. I don't know, I'll let you know my thoughts on it, but this doesn't feel like it'll blend it out nicely. So, I don't know. But yeah, I like the pouch. Um, definitely worth $22 on its own. Um, Alright, so brushes. 227 Lux Soft Designer. It's alright. Then we have 317 Wing Liner. This is alright. Um, 234 Lux Smoky Shader. Alright. We have 230 Lux Pencil. It's also alright. Um, we have 106 powder brush. I really 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 like this just that brush on its own is I would pay at least $15 for it um, Then we have a 112 face curve. This is really nice for primer um, And you know moisturizer and stuff. This will be really good um, Then we have 109 face paint. This is actually not bad. I actually like this brush. I don't really love the straight contour brush, but this is not bad. I actually quite like that. Um, then we have a 226 smudger brush. This applied my lipstick really well, um, so I give this a thumbs up. Then I have 142 concealer buffer. I love, love, love this brush. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I would pay easily $20 on its own for that brush. Um, 103 defined buffer. I loved this for foundation definitely worth the money then we have 322 brow liner I didn't use this but I'm sure this will fill uh, my brows with brow powder really well um, so that is that then I have 127 Lux sheer cheek this did not apply as well it's not really my favorite so I don't like that as much as the other brushes then we have 310 spot liner. This uh, lined my lips really, really well, so I highly recommend this one. And finally, the worst brush out of all of them is a 129 fan brush. I didn't like this at all. It didn't pick up the product um, as much and it didn't apply well, so I don't like this. But overall, majority of the brushes are nice, so I highly recommend this set. Um, if you are after uh, some fake brushes so just a disclaimer I don't really suggest or recommend fake products but because these are brushes these are fine so that's why I purchased them myself but I definitely don't recommend you getting any cosmetic products that is fake because 
um, you don't know what ingredient they have used to create it. It can be anything, it can be very low quality. It's going on your eyes and your face and uh, anything can happen. So I um, don't recommend or suggest you get any fake cosmetic products, but brushes are fine. Um, so that is why I got this to test out and I'm very happy with the set and I will continue using the brushes that I like and it's still worth the money even though there's only like you know half the brushes I'm going to be using it's still worth the money so I give this a huge thumbs up so yeah anyways I really hope that you enjoyed this video I will see if I can find the link I bought this in January I bought it like ages ago so I will find the link and I'll leave it down in the description box so you can go purchase a set of fake so your brushes yourself but uh, I always encourage you to support um, the original definitely go check out Zoeva cosmetic brushes Zoeva brushes they are amazing I absolutely love Zoeva brushes um, yeah and I will never stop buying the original ones you know because they're just amazing and they last forever so yeah, anyways, please give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!